The greatest legacy my grandfather and my father left me was his love for the sea and the creatures that inhabit it. This legacy is the one that I want to leave to my children. I am Gerardo del Villar, underwater photographer, and I am in love with the sea and the sharks. The sea has been a great school of life for me, and my main teacher are the sharks. Sharks have left me a series of lessons that have helped me get ahead and live fully. My children are the most important thing, and I want to share with them all what I have lived in the oceans. I think the best way to do it is by taking them to live an adventure together at the sea. These trips with them fill my soul by allowing me to share my passion with my children and share the responsibility that we have to our planet. For most human beings, one of our great concerns is transcending when we leave this world. There are people who like to accumulate material wealth, but there are also those who prefer to accumulate experience that enrich our souls and memories. On this occasion, I made a trip with Santiago, my eight-year-old son, and we decided to swim with the largest fish in the world, the whale shark. In order to carry our dream, we went to La Paz in Baja California Sur, Mexico. Already in the port and prior to the adventure at the sea, we enjoyed the carnival that was taking place. We strolled, played, walked along the boardwalk and take advantage of quality time together before going to our adventure. I was more excited than ever. I kept asking myself, what will the experience of swimming with the whale shark be like? My dad told me what he experienced with those sharks when he was filming the documentary Sharks of Mexico in Isla Mujeres, Quintana Roo. Swimming with the whale sharks for me is beautiful. It is something like being with a gentle giant who has no intention of hurting you. One day, when we were making the documentary Sharks of Mexico in the Mexican Caribbean, we were snorkeled with more than 200 whale sharks. Can you imagine? According to the Eco Ocean Organization, more than 1,300 whale sharks come to this area every year. It is impressive. All you had to do was float in the sea and the great sharks pass it feeding, sucking the water through their gigantic jaws. The most impressive thing was to see how without feeling or presence, the whale shark, a shark of a size of a skull boss, passed peaceful around of us. We have a lot to learn from these beautiful animals. And one of the things that it worth understanding is the respect for others. Whale sharks, with their larger size, if they want it, they can easily hurt us, but they don't. And they allow us to swim with them sharing their space. The next day, in the morning, we went to the Marina La Paz. My head wouldn't stop spinning. I was wondering if whale sharks live all year in the same place. The whale sharks move and migrate distance than you could not imagine. I remember the interview we did with the biologist Rafael de la Parra during the documentary Sharks of Mexico, in which he shared with us El conocimiento que se tiene del tiburón ballena, que siendo el pez más grande del mundo, el conocimiento que se tiene es bien poco. Hace aproximadamente 10, 15 años se comenzó en serio a realizar estudios sobre este animal. Hoy sabemos que en realidad estos animales deambulan por la región y cuando suena la campanita de que está lista la comida, todo mundo se, todos ellos pues se agrupan, se congregan o se agregan, que es la palabra adecuada para denominarlo. 
de acuerdo a los cálculos que se han realizado por diferentes métodos, calculamos que, o estimamos que tenemos una población cercana a 1.400 animales en esta zona, que eh, valga la pena mencionar, es una responsabilidad que tenemos que compartir en toda la región. No es eh, responsabilidad de México, del Caribe mexicano, de Quintana Roo, es una responsabilidad de Belice, de Honduras, de Guatemala, de Estados Unidos, de Cuba, de Florida, etc. ¿no? En 2007 marcamos con un dispositivo satelital a una hembra preñada y cinco meses más tarde estaba en el hemisferio sur entre África y Brasil y a esta pues la, la bautizamos como la Rio Lady y en cuatro años no la volvimos a ver hasta el año pasado. I was wondering after hearing about Rafael interview where whale sharks live in the world. The distribution of the whale shark is in all tropical and subtropical waters around the world. Arriving at the marina in La Paz, we was received by Dr. Denis Ramirez, who was our leader and guide for the expedition. Hello, Denis. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Okay. How are you? Fine. And you? Fine. I asked my dad, where was the farthest place where you had seen the whale sharks? In the Philippines, in a place called Oslo, I was able to scuba dive with these sharks. What could be our surprise, when we were scuba diving, we saw that they were feeding with krill. Some small shrimp, incredible to think that one of the largest fish on the planet can be fed with one of the smallest creatures of the sea. I was wonder if whale shark eat big fish with its teeth. The whale shark is one of the three shark species that they feed on zooplankton. And whale sharks, they just filter the zooplankton that is in the water. We always have to investigate well before making an idea. Imagine if we hadn't asked Denny about what whale sharks eat, seeing their impressive sights, we will have thought something very different. Maybe that it will eat us with its big jaws. I ask myself what happens when there are a lot of people swimming with a whale shark. If there are a lot of people swimming with them, the sharks can be affected for several reasons. For example, when we went scuba diving with whale sharks in the Philippines, we realized that thousands of people were swimming with the sharks every single day. This was very stressful for them. Furthermore, by being conditioned and attracted with krill, they associate the boats with food. And this can cause collision with the boats and a serious damage for the sharks. We have been able to see this on Isla Mujeres in Quintana Roo, where the guides of this activity respect and follow the rules of swimming with the whale sharks. But there are private boats that approaching at full speed, hurting some sharks with the propels of the boats. It is really very sad to see these beautiful sharks hurt. Always, we have to remember the importance of respecting the space and the house of others. On this planet, we all have the right to a place to live in peace. And it is not fair that we abuse and invade the home of other living beings with whom we share the earth. When we were still navigating, then the whale sharks show up. Santi's expression was amazing. Wow! Eh? One of those moments that I, as a father, we always carry in my heart until the day I die. When I saw the whale shark, I asked Denny a lot of questions about the whale shark. How big do they get? The maximum size of the whale shark is 20 meters and it was uh, 34 tons. How do they reproduce? We only have 
one pregnant female that was hatched at Taiwan and it was with 300 babies and it's called viviparia placenta all the babies are inside of eggs and the eggs are inside of the mom and when they are ready to burn they broken the egg and after that they burn how big are they when they are born? They can um, burn around 17 centimeters and they up to 7 meters they are considering juveniles. When we are adults we forget to be curious or we ashamed to exhibit our ignorance. If adults return to the curiosity that children have, life will be much better and easier for everyone. We begin excited to gear ourselves. I am not going to lie to you. Even I've been swam with hundreds of times with the whale sharks, getting in the water with my eight-year-old son made me more anxious than usual. I was wondering if whale sharks are dangerous. I answered no and tell him to be calm. But the truth is that I keep him thinking when in the filming of the documentary Sharks of Mexico, a whale shark almost blows her head off with his tail. Whale sharks are not dangerous, but like all wild animals, we must be careful because we do not know how they will react. Whale sharks are not dangerous for you. When we were in Isla Mujeres, instead of swimming with them, we went to scuba dive with the whale sharks with the goal of having a new different angle on the camera. The experience was incredible. We were enjoying them very much. It's impressive. We can see the tiburones ballena buceando aquí. In Isla Mujeres, you can observe the size of this tiburon. We saw the gentle giants pass over and over again and we felt like we were in the heaven. At this dive we had been underwater for like 20 minutes and I was under a large whale shark talking in front of the camera. Then, the whale shark tried to hit us with his tail. On this particular occasion, when we were diving below the shark, the bubbles generated by our scuba regulator hit the shark in the belly and the gills. They may have caused the shark to kill as if some larger predator like killer whale or great white shark was attacking it. I am sure that was the reason why it tried to hit us. It was defending itself and I don't think the whale shark tried to hurt us. After this happened, we went to interview Konam staff. They show us a video in which clearly you can see a whale shark with a big bite on the tail. Probably when it was defending itself from attack. What other predators do whale sharks have? Unfortunately, for all sharks, the main predators are humans. More than 80 million of sharks are fished each year, and at this rate, we could finish with all the species of shark that inhabit the oceans. We need to work hard these mythifying sharks. This will help people feel more empathy towards them and value the importance that they have in the ecosystems. Without them, marine life will collapse. The whale sharks are protected around the world. They are in the red list as a threatened species near to be uh, to the extinction. In Mexico, we do have three protected areas based on whale shark. We have uh, one in the Caribbean side, and then two here in the Gulf of California. One is Los Angeles Bay, and here in La Paz Bay. And by having a protected area, it's it's good because you can involve people in the conservation by doing tourism, enforcing the rules and also protecting the habitat.
After hearing all this, Santi claimed me and made me an energetic call for us to take care of the sharks. I did not understand why people can kill sharks. It is not fair that the people are destroying the ecosystems. What will become of us children when we grow up? The whale shark is a gentle giant that we need to protect. It is very important to take action today, so the next generation continue to enjoy sharks and other species. I share with Santi some concrete actions that we can do to take care of these animals from today. Do not consume shark fin soup. It is the main cause of overfishing. Help change the misconception of these misunderstood predators. Understand and share why sharks are important to the balance of the marine ecosystems. Know which shark species are in danger of extinction. Do not consume products that produce from the organs of the sharks. Do not encourage the purchase of souvenirs that come from sharks. Do not buy or keep shark species in fish tanks. Avoid eating shark meat. Find what measures exist in your country to protect the sharks. Join an association dedicated to protecting sharks. Another sample to follow without doubt are those fishermen who once killed sharks and today are dedicated to taking people to enjoy and swim with them. Human beings, we have the power to destroy. Them. But on the other hand, we are extraordinary creatures that if we put on our minds to it, we can reverse the damage that we have done to the planet. Time to share one of the greatest passions with my son. Seeing him as a little man ready for action made me prouder than I ever felt before in my life. Hi. <laughs> For me, without any doubt, it has been one of my happiest moments of my short life. It filled me with pride being there with my father, ready to do what he loves. At the beginning, Santi felt a little uncomfortable, but as we were swimming, he began to get confidence until he was alone next to the wheelchair. For me, it has been something incredible. I don't know how to say it, but my heart felt very beautiful. Few times in my life I've been as excited as that day. This experience stayed in my soul forever. I will look away to protect these beautiful sharks. We returned to the port exhausted but satisfied and immensely happy. For me, protecting my people is the most important thing in the world. But protecting them not only means taking care of them from the dangers that we live today. Protecting them means teaching to live and take care of the planet that we will live the rest of our days. Jacques Cousteau says, people protect what they love. And just as my grandfather and my parents made me love the sea, today I feel happy of passing onto another generation that respect and commitment for the oceans and the creatures that inhabit in them. This will give us more allies to protect the oceans.